oh, 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 Merry Christmas. Oh, hello there. Santa's getting old. But I suppose that it's this time of year again. I suspect you all be wanting your presents. Love those cookies. So. How about I tell you a story? Send me these glasses. Oh boy. was the night before Christmas, went all through the house. Not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. <laughs> and Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled our brains for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter. I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window, I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters, threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave a lust of midday to objects below. What to my wandering I did appear? <laughs> but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer with an old little driver so lively and quick I knew in that moment he must be Saint Nick. The more rapid than eagles his courses they came, and he whistled and shouted, called them by name, now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner, on Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. Leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop, the courses they flew with a sleigh full of toys, and old Saint Nicholas too. And then, in a twinkling. I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew my head and was turning around down the chimney, St. Nicholas came with a bow. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his toe and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot, bundle of toys he had flung on his back. He looked like a peddler, just opened a pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. 
His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin getting as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth. And the smoke, it encircled his head like a reef. Well, Mrs. Claus, I, I need glasses. If she finds out I'm not wearing them, she's got to kill me. So keep this between us, please. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. <laughs> he was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf. And I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. And a wink of his eyes and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but he went straight to work and filled all his stockings and turned with a jerk, laying his finger side of his nose and giving a nod chimney robes. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team, gave a whistle, and away they all flew, like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim before he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas, Caden! Merry Christmas, Isla! And to all a good night! You should probably get hearing aids and stop yelling so much. I need a, I need a diet. Ugh. Ugh. Anyway, I'll see you all soon. Merry Christmas to all, to all a good night. I said that already. Ugh. Rudolph!